Okay, we are live, Adam Hill Vending. This video, a lot of comments, a lot of questions on the YouTube channel, so I'm gonna go through them and I am going to give my answer to them, ranging from someone stole my machine to which machine to buy, everything else. Remember, if you drop your comment in any of the videos on this channel, we're gonna try to respond to them. Remember, if you're buying card readers, hillvending.com, um, Use Hill, promo code HILLVENDING, NIAC card reader, you can use that. So let's get right into it. Um, this came from someone, Keith Parks. Someone stole my machine, what can I do? Someone stole my vending machine, what can I do? Here's the deal with vending machines. Drink machines are harder to steal than snack machines because of the weight and the capacity of a drink machine. So if you're trying to steal a drink machine, and it's already 800 pounds and then it's loaded down with soda it's going to be extremely hard to steal a vending machine that is that much weight okay it's still possible but it's kind of hard snack machines on the other hand because they are up on legs and you can use a pallet jack you can remove them unless you have to swing them through a doorway and open the door um, the problem is if someone steals your machine if someone takes your machine, they're not on camera, you have no way of tracking it, there is probably a minuscule percent chance that you'll re recover that machine. Something I have thought about that would be quite interesting is, do you know those little Apple tags? They go on your keychain, the little circle. Um, I think they're called Apple tag. Yes, this right here. Let's show you right here. Let's see if this pops up. These little Apple tags you can get a four pack for $100. So for $25, you could hide one of these GPS tracking devices in your machine somewhere, tape it under a tray, or put it somewhere that someone wouldn't be able to see it. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Putting Apple tacking track, Apple tags in your vending machine to track and see if someone does steal it, where it would end up. But the bottom line with that is you do not want your vending machines in locations that are susceptible to being stolen. Secure facilities, right? So you need secure facilities with cameras, not outside and all that. So let's go to the next question. Rapid fire, we're getting right through them. Austin B, you need a heat miser. That was in response to a refrigeration deck that froze up. Actually, it was the refrigeration deck froze up. I'll show you guys what happened right here. So you can learn before you earn you can learn before you earn drop a comments down below if you have them on this live stream i am going to get to them let's hold on now don't be going crazy on me yet i don't have it this production is live this is the only live vending production in the world and you're watching it right now so this is what i want to tell you about this right here Okay, so that refrigeration deck, that's a Vendo 721, completely froze up. Um, the internal fan, there's a fan, you can see my mouse, behind this. The ice block had gotten so far back that the internal fan had stopped spinning. Luckily, it was still working, um, but it would stop it. So it, that's the fan that sucks the air up into the cabinet for the drinks to be cold. But the drain line was completely clogged with debris and ice. So pulled that out, cleaned everything up, used the heat gun to, uh, there you go right there. So didn't have to remove any cans to do that, but um, that was in response to that comment. Baby Zo 91 in the house, what's up? Shout out, JK. Hold on, we're live. We are live. If you have a question, live, drop it down below. Remember, vending can be for anyone. Guys, you can do this. The value, the the point of this channel is to provide value and share how to get started from coming up on nine years. JK Snack Vending is a combo machine a good idea for a small warehouse that gets very hot in the summer. Wouldn't the refrigeration help keep the chocolates from melting? So there's a couple red flags there, JK. Small warehouse, small warehouse, you need to have a certain threshold of employees or visitors that come across that machine. 
Um, if you're gonna put in a, com a refrigerated combo machine in a warehouse, you're talking dust, debris, you're talking uh, bill validators getting wore out, you're talking sensors getting clogged up, you're talking people putting in machines or putting in money that's dirty, a lot of wear and tear. Would the refrigeration help keep the chocolate from melting? 100% it would, but I'd rather you focus on an account that is probably a little bit higher class. So a combo machine would be good, but if you're only doing $100 a month, it's not gonna be worth it. Let's see, they broke into my vending machine three weeks ago by taking my card reader out. They took it out and took the card reader. They even took the money this happened. To, yes, hotels are notorious for that happening. Hotels and vandalized. Yes, the Motel 6, yes, this happens. Um, I've had hotels on the beach down here, Clearwater Beach, the number one hotel destination, Clearwater Beach, Florida, look it up. Sugar Sand Festival, beautiful, the best beach in, in, in the world. That's why tourism down here in Champa Bay, well, we're not Champa Bay anymore because we lost. Tourism down here is through the roof. Clearwater Beach, some of the hotels there, they have what's called packs of um, almost like carnival people. They go down the coast of Florida and then around and they'll stop and just hit. They hit all the snack machines in the, um, they tried to hit the drink machines but they couldn't get in because of the tri-tech lock, electronic lock. The drink machine, the T-handle on your snack machine, they drill, probably shouldn't say this because then people can smash the like button if you want me to tell you how to do that. I don't, I don't wanna get into it right now. We'll get into it, smash the like button. If I have five likes, I'll tell you how they broke into the vending machine. You have to smash the like button five times five people to smash the like button I'll tell you how they broke in my money your choice let's see sometimes you can add a little fishing reel oil to fans elongate the fan life thank you for that my money your choice go ahead and follow my money your choice subscribe how do you deter this listen if your machines are in locations that are prime for the picking they are going to get picked if you have machines that are outside I've done it I'm sharing with you I'm talking about apartment complexes Apartment complexes are the one of the biggest traps in the vending game. It makes sense logically. It made sense to me. I stepped right into that trap and then the little claw came up and ate my whole ankle and busted my ankle off. Okay. The problem with apartments, it doesn't matter 150 units. Most people have their drinks with them. They're not going to be in high volume areas. They're going to want to put them in a gym somewhere. Uh, people have already have their drinks. But a lot of the issue comes down to with the kids in the residence putting bubble gum in the machine, kicking in the machine, messing with the machine. At the end of the day, I would put apartments on the bottom of the list for, for where you're at uh, as far as account wise. That's just my opinion. There we go, we got seven likes. So when they came to the hotel and they uh, vandalized it, the T handle on your snack machine if you're looking at a regular snack machine, the T-handle, it has a little pin. When you lock it, there's a little pin. They drilled right above where that pin on top and bottom to find it, because it could be either on top or the bottom. There's only one pin. It's either gonna be locked top or bottom. And they drilled through to where that pin would pop up or it would release and it would come open, and that's all they had to do. They also drilled in the side of the machine. Um, and they got into all of them, except a couple um and did the same thing pulled the bill validator stole stole all the money uh tried to get a police report got a police report done they tried to check for fingerprints but there's really nothing you can do about do about it and we don't really have that account anymore so how to deter vandalism is cameras or put high security there's high security hockey puck locks there's a lot that goes into it but I would rather prefer locations that people don't treat uh, the machines like that. What's up, T Cash in the house? Hey, Adam, been a minute. Some of the new Coke machines say satellite tracked. There you go. Problem is, if they cut the Wi-Fi, are they still being tracked? Or if they cut the the power, maybe they're using the little Apple tags on that. Um, on there so this is important right here jk snack vending this is a lot of people where you're at where you're at. remember 
healvending.com forward slash start for the free download. The ebook's $9, and then the course is $500, comes with everything. If you need help, invest. You know, someone, it's like, um, it's like if you're going to go drive a semi truck or an 18 wheeler, okay? You're going to go drive an 18 wheeler and say you don't need to get your CDL license, okay? Hey guys, I'm getting out of the vending. I'm going to go drive an 18 wheeler, a semi truck from here to Kansas, but I don't need any training. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go for it, guys. I don't want to learn from somebody who's done millions and millions of miles in their truck or that it's kind of like, hey, you might want to know this. Hey, you might want to learn every little step before you jump in and buy $15,000 of Sega machines that you uh, the parts are overpriced and you can't get uh, you can't even get get the parts for them and their compressors are complete trash and you're not even going to be able to replace them but um, let's just get in the semi truck let's get in the big rig and let's start let's start going five hundred dollars in the vending business if you're serious I don't, if you're not serious then please don't spend the money on the on the course but if you're serious that's what I would recommend because of this right here. JK Snack. It would be my first location. I want to get my feet wet and I'm going to throw a card reader on the combo. 15 to 20 people for traffic. One, I'm glad you came on here, JK. I wouldn't walk away. I would run away from that. Run away from that as fast as you can. And I'm not blaming you, not saying you don't know, you're new. That is not where you need to be. 15 to 20 people for foot traffic is 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 way, 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 way too low. I would predict that that account would probably do 25 to $30. Um, well, let me think about this. Uh, maybe $50 a month. That's not even taking out your product costs. So if you're thinking about this, if this is you and you see a location and it's 15 to 20 people and you're about to spend three to seven thousand dollars on a combo machine and it's 15 to 20 people this is why you're watching this video as i'm trying to steer you away from that i don't care if you make a hundred million dollars in vending or become a super successful vendor what i hate seeing is people call me and say i just bought an eighty thousand dollar route and half the equipment half the equipment isn't even credit card capable so i have to drop another 40 in equipment to upgrade the route I wish I would have got signed up for, for your program or someone's program before I got in this big rig and I'm driving on black ice and I have bald tires and my trailer's overweighted and I jackknife on I-75 in Michigan in the middle of winter. Let's keep going here. Um, I would say if you do put your machine in an apartment, put the cage around the machine. See, that's what I'm, I'm not about the cage, trying to fight and put cages on on machines. If you want, if people want to do that, that's fine. I've tried that route. It just seems like you're squeezing a lot of, I don't, I don't like that. But yes, a cage would work. I have seen it. Um, I have seen it. George is in the house. If you guys know George. George, hi, I'm looking to get into the vending business down here in South Florida. I've been watching videos, which are great. Thank you. One of the questions I have is the best is the best machines to get and avoid go over a lot of that in in the videos the best drink machine it's february 24th 2023 still to this date the best drink machine that you could possibly buy in my opinion is the vendo 721 the best snack machine is an ams um sense it three snack machine why because efficiency afford you know i'm not even gonna say affordability you get what you pay for okay when you buy vending machines um ease of use programming all of that everything that you get with these machines we have exclude if i were going to get a new account tomorrow and i had to purchase machines or if i had to talk to you directly and you told me i have this location it's got 100 people i need a snack machine and a drink machine I wouldn't think twice. A Vendo 721 live display and an AMS 39 with a card reader, both with card readers. Put them in, turn them on, and go about your business. If you want to be one of these tinker tinkerers, that's not me. I don't want to tinker with machines. This is the most tinkering that I want to do, but I have 
you know, I'm at a little bit dangerous like this, right? Like being able to, that's not that involved. Most everybody can do that. You can do that. You can remove a couple screws and take a drain pan out. I'm gonna get a copyright and this, this is gonna get, I'm gonna get banned. So make sure you like and subscribe before I get banned. Um, let's see what else. But you need to, so the best machines, yeah, that's what I would say. Year old Vendo 721 with NIAC card reader for 3K purchase. Again, do your due diligence. Does it get cold? Do all the selections work? Is the board programming? But if you can get a Vendo 721, uh, the card reader, make sure that you can transfer it and, and all that stuff. 3K is a fair deal. It's not a great deal. I'd try to do, I'd try to do two grand, set on 25, but I don't think you're getting ripped off. I don't think you're getting ripped off. If it's a good 50 to $70,000 route, you could mess with a cage. Yeah, you can mess with a cage. Charged squad is in the house. I have a good problem. Location is small, but does well, so I'm there daily to fill it. Any solutions I haven't thought of, they say there's no room for another machine. Okay, awesome. Look at that, super chat, charged squad, appreciate the support, appreciate the support. Okay, Depend. what type of machine do you have? Let me know what type of machine you have and let me know this, you would need to know the space, the dimensions, how wide of a space do you have? Because this is something that, I don't know why this is so big. Why has that gotta be so big? There we go. Okay, so if you have a small location that's doing well, this is why I sell people to try to go to two, two full size machines because if it is a combo machine and it is a good location, it's gonna empty daily. Instead of going once a week, now he, charged squad has to go five times, um, five times a week to fill, which is a good problem, but you don't wanna have to do that uh, all the time. So combo, Wittern, let's look it up so everybody can see. Sometimes I hope I don't get banned. Images, we're gonna show everybody what this is. Mm, so you have the trim line. Is that what we have here? Is this what we have right here? Okay, yeah. Not much you can do with this. I will tell you what I would do if it is, how much is it doing a week, a month in sales? Give me something to go with and I'll tell you if it'd be worth it to do it. This is the problem with these little machines. They don't hold enough capacity. It looks cute, it looks cool to the new vendor. Look how much this machine is. $5,500 for that machine, okay? I'm gonna show you exactly what I would do. Exactly what I would do with this slow location. Um, charge squad, how much does it do roughly a month, would you say? I'm gonna show you exactly what I would do. Let me pull this up. Depending on your space, okay? This is what I would do right here. It does $2,000 a month. Okay, $2,000 a month, 1.6 million percent charge squad. Glad you're on the, on the stream. Go and grab an AMS combo. Maybe, if you have the space, you could even go with this right here. I know it's, you see the 7,000. It's got a drink can tray, okay? This is A&M Equipment Sales. I don't have any affiliation with this. They just have a lot of the description on here. But it has a high capacity uh, drink tray that holds 152 cans of soda down at the bottom. And then you have one drink uh, for bottles and then you have three snack trays, three snack trays. The only thing would be the size requirement for that. But that would be what I would put on order today. Now, if you didn't want to do that, here's where the golden ticket comes in. You could do a four wide or a five wide AMS combo machine. But look at these pri these prices are, man, They these things just keep going up. Unbelievable. 2K a month though, let's just say you can only put a four wide in there. Only could put a four wide in there. Here's where no one's gonna tell you what you can do. And for watching this long, you're gonna learn something right now. You see this right here? One, two, three, four, five. What they don't tell you is that this can actually take another tray. 
So what I would do, especially in charged um, charged station, is what you're going to do is you're going to call AM and say, yes, I want this, um, I want that AMS machine, and I want you to put a third tray down below. You can move these trays, you can configure so that they hold six trays. That gives you three drink trays and three snack trays. So you just increased your drink capacity without changing the machine. So that is what I would do. If your space, which this a four wide should be the same as a, as a trim line, you could do the research on it, but I would buy this, pay the extra money for another drink tray and put that in there. Now you can do higher price bottles, energy drinks, you could do all that stuff in there. Hope that helps. Hope that helps and thank you for the super chat. Hill Vending, smash the like button if you are here and you are liking the value. Again, Hill Vending is here, the only one coming to you live on YouTube consistently to try to help, to try to help you guys out because I know where I was nine years ago and um, had people help along the way. So that's what I would do. And charged, let's see, how do we go back? Always dropping gold, hill bending, thanks. I will upgrade and move this machine. Yes, I'm glad I could help. Listen, the that AMS machine, you won't have any, you would love that machine. Try to sell that trim line, try to get your money back from that, and don't ever buy that machine again. Just kidding. You like it, you like it, but it doesn't hold enough, and I wouldn't do that. Um, let's see what else we have. Not a fan of combo machines. You literally cut your selections and choice, right? That's the problem with combos. But um, that is Logan in the building. Thoughts on washer dryer vending? I have a nine-unit vacation rental. Asking for them, is it worth it? How would you negotiate? I actually was at a apartment complex in Clearwater this week and they had 20 listen to this 20 washer and dryers and it was an outside company and they were paying the owner of the apartment eighteen hundred dollars a month and then they collected all the money it was like two dollars per load i said if they could pay eighteen hundred a month that's incredible i said the washer and dryer laundry business Oh, well, repairs and all this. You run the same thing, just like Vendo 721 AMS. You have four or five spares, so if one goes down, you pull it out, get it fixed, put the other one in. I kind of like the laundry game. I kind of like the washer-dryer game. You know, I, I always like some clean-smelling clothes, I mean, but... So, to answer your question, I would try it out. I don't have any experience with washer and dryer, so I don't want to steer you in the wrong uh, the wrong direction, but I know that there's companies out there that will pay. I would say test it out, uh, put one or two in there, and let's say let's just try it out and see how it goes. I do know that this apartment complex had the QR code where you can, pay. they don't even have card readers on them anymore. It took coins, or you do the QR code and you could pay through your app. So that's a way they can get around, which uh, Cantaloupe. And Nyack better watch out for because that's going to be the next phase. It's going to phase them out of this whole game. This seven percent, ten dollar a month deal that they're this racket that they're running. Better be careful. They better be careful because if you put a QR code on a machine to pay right now, people are just going beep, and it's they're charging seven percent. Plus, you have to buy the card reader. You know, next level is next level is on the vending machine. There's just a little QR code. You go up, take a picture. It links to this account, and it costs three cents to, to do the transaction or less. And then you have Nyack and Cantaloupe out there holding holding their G10s. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? I mean, I know there's there's other things out there. Also, the compressors in is very cramped and they wear out. Yes, you're talking about the trim line machine, that trim line machine. Anything in those smaller combo machines is just gimmicky. It's silly. And that's what it is. Raphael is in the house. Appreciate you coming in, Raphael. We are cruising today with this. Appreciate everyone watching. Hope you're getting value. Smash the like button if you are. Thank you. Hello, Hill Vending. Look at that picture. This guy is styling. Thanks for the value of information. Question is, can I add a card device or upgrade the boards to be compatible to MDB on old Dixie Narco 276M? Mm. 
276M, an AP snapshot model. Those are Dixie Narcos. I have one Dixie Narco. One Dixie Narco, the keypad membrane just went out. And that will be the last uh, 501E. Um, but let's get into this question. The problem is they don't make Dixie Narcos anymore. I can, yeah, I think it's an S2D board. I don't know about the the compatibility. That would be a question I would call DNS vending or a, a machine um, would call a machine parts retailer and ask them, give them your serial number. I know that S2D boards are what you need for that. So that's what I would go with. Let's finish this up and we'll wrap this up. Kent G is in the house. Thanks for watching, Kent. Um, let's see, let's see. Thank you for answering my question. The other question I have is always say to avoid paying any commission, what would be the best way to lead an account? It's a service, sell it as a service. It's not a money maker for them. What you'll notice is the smaller account you deal with, the more they're interested in commission, the higher number of people, employees that they have, the less they are. Most people focus on the, the, the smaller you know, barber shops, tire shops, when you're starting out, and those are run by entrepreneur type people who, uh, you know, make money from that business and they want to see every little thing as a revenue stream. When you're talking about Fortune 500 companies or people with 400 employees or 200 employees, they're worried about making money for their business and their core business. They're not worried about making money from the snack and drink machine. Hope that helps. Pay range already does QR code. Okay, so pay range might be a, might be already ahead of the game. Um, yeah, Raphael. The problem is if it's so old, I don't know about that. Um, you guys are coming with all the questions. Appreciate you guys watching. We are here and we are live. Have several Wittern thirty five hundred that need new compressors. Considering rebuilding the next, but not my. Area. I would call someone in your area that can and get a price on if you have several. Can they hook you up on the price? Here we go, T Cash. To answer that, Vendors Exchange still has every part for Dixie Narco machines. So Raphael, reach out to Vendors, Vendors Exchange, and they will help you out. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. A solid half hour, uh, roughly session. Uh, we have one more comment coming in. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. I'm just going to wrap up. If you guys need um, the start guide, hillbending.com forward slash start. Remember, if you want to buy the NIAC card reader, you can save 7% when you check out. It's like 20 or $30 that you save directly by using promo code hillvending uh, when you check out. Cantaloupe actually has reached out to me and they have an affiliate. They're going to start doing that too. The problem is they're only doing it not on the G10s. They're only doing it on the edge. I'll show you what they're doing it on the cantaloupe card reader. Um, they're only doing it on the edge, the touchscreen devices, but I think it's roughly the same. So if you want, I mean, you can try it. Eport cashless devices. It's only on, I'll show you here real quick this the touch the engage so actually let's see if it's i've been busy doing stuff but i haven't even checked to see okay so you have to put in all this stuff quantity they don't even put a place for promo code so they must not be uh must not be up and running but keep an eye out on that um call them tell them Hey, if you buy cantaloupe, tell them I want to use promo code Hill Vending because you told we're going to save money, and they'll I'm sure they'll save you some money because they're setting up their affiliate link to mirror the NIAC. Um, the NIAC. Okay, if I may comment, um, if I may comment on what George posted about commission, I only pay commission on volume. One account I have had 30 machines, so they do receive a cut. Yes, it's. I'm not saying you can never do it, and I'm not saying it's a deal breaker, but I'm just saying how to get around that. Um, just Mac. Hey, Adam, for a backup coin Mac, do you recommend the same, the brand machine? May I have? 
or any other brand. I have two Conlux. Conlux 5 tubes are the best in my opinion. I had to rent two from my vending guy. Yes, Conlux 5 tubes. have to, all, all these are going to have problems, but I would go Conlux 5 tube. And that's it. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day. Rem great weekend. Remember, until next time, if you have an idea for a video, drop it down below. Appreciate you watching all the way to the end of this video. Click subscribe, hit the like button. But remember, most importantly, until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh.